Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Hong Kong's last battle. Violent protests on the streets. A propaganda campaign to keep rioters in line. The most violent protests yet. Some firing guns and rockets. My name is Jack and welcome to Hong Kong. G'day and good morning guys from the beautiful Hong Kong. I'm spending the next week here exploring the city and seeing what it has to offer. We're going to be going around and seeing the top things to do in this city. This is my first impressions of Hong Kong. I've never been here before. So come along with me today, be right beside me and let's explore Hong Kong together. So first things first, we need to get on this tram here. So let's go. Okay, so we're just getting on the beautiful tram here now. Looks so old and so nice. Okay, I've got a seat at the back here to myself. So it's actually quite funny. You'd think all the different trams would be all the same. The same chairs, the same color, but no. All the trams are different colors. They have different seats. They have little different quirky things going on. So just to put this in perspective, these are the same tram models that used to be in London before they pulled them all out. So yeah, super interesting. So it's actually quite interesting, the architecture and the different shops here in Hong Kong. It has like a UK vibe and then also like your mainland China vibe. It's really interesting. So when the UK left Hong Kong in 1997, July 1st, yeah, obviously a lot of things changed, but also a lot of things have sort of stayed the same. You do have that European, UK vibe as well. It's very, very interesting. So right now we're just walking through the sort of CBD district here in central Hong Kong Island. So you actually see a lot of foreigners like me working in business suits in this building. I think it must be a big bank or something, I'm not too sure. So yeah, there's a lot of foreigners here, a lot of European, a lot of American. I didn't really know that Hong Kong had a big base like that, so very interesting. Okay, so we just bought our tickets, so that was 88 uh, Hong Kong dollars, so I'll put the conversions here into US dollars. This looks really, really cool. I can already see the train track from here. Okay, so we just made it on. As you can see here, the track looks really, really steep. So I'm wondering if a cable is going to help us pull up or if this is going to be totally natural. Let's see. Okay, so we're going up now. The gradient is like that. So we're definitely on some type of cable system. But wow, this is really, really cool. There's so many glass windows as well. Nice and clean. We can see the city. We'll be able to see into the forest. Very, very happy. see the angle of this train it's crazy can you believe some people walk up to the top of here man it's very hot today I don't know if I could do that maybe in winter but this is such a scenic way to do it and pretty affordable get off and see this view. Hong Kong is such a beautiful city. All the skyscrapers, all the water, it's so crystal clear and blue. What bright blue day as well. Absolutely amazing. So we've just came 
came into this cafe here and boy oh boy does it have a good view. I've got my sausage roll and also my croque monsieur, but uh, in Australia we'd call this a cheese toasty. So all this food was about eight US dollars, so not a bad price for the view that you're getting. Alrighty, so let's give this sausage roll a try. Give this a go. Really, really good. And I'm gonna match this with my cheese toasty, but this is probably one of the most scenic lunches I've ever had. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna sit back and enjoy this view. Right now we're actually going to go to this little viewpoint up here and this is the main viewpoint that most people hike up to so yeah should be interesting wow so we've made it to the main viewpoint just here by the little Taunus shrine absolutely stunning what a view so glad you guys can come along with me today and be right beside me and experience this together it's days like these that make my job really really awesome i really really love it little viewpoint underneath the uh, Taoist temple so no one here to obstruct your view really really cool this here is the main bay area and then our hotel is like somewhere over there so we're currently staying in the Grand Bayview Hotel and Resort and let me tell you this place is really really good for the money that you pay they have a gym a swimming pool themed rooms and also a buffet morning breakfast I'll leave a link in the description, not sponsored. I don't know if you can see that, but on the other side, everyone getting on, it is so much more busy than when we went up this morning. So we actually got quite lucky because there's so many people getting on now. So we're just walking to the Bay Area now and it's pretty prevalent to see a lot of rich people here in Hong Kong. These cars here, BMW, Porsche and Tesla. For a country that's so small and has a good public transport system, you actually don't really need a car. But some people earn big dollars here in Singapore and obviously they like to splurge. Okay, so we're now going up on the Ferris wheel. This was actually really affordable, only 20 Taiwanese not Taiwanese, where are we? Hong Kong. Only 20 Hong Kong dollars. I've been traveling too much. Uh, which is only like $2.50 US. So a really affordable price. The same price I paid for my water. So yeah, really, really lovely. And you've got this view. So we've just stopped now. I think they're loading in some more people. We're pretty high up. My heart's beating a little bit. <laughs> what a cool experience though. Oh my gosh, we're getting high now. Oh my gosh. So we're at the very, very top now. Looking down is a little bit scary. I tell you what though, there wasn't much of a lineup to get on here. Pretty good considering this activity is right on the harbour. So apparently we go around here three times, which is amazing for what we paid, only $2.50 US in Asia's most expensive country of Hong Kong. Really, really affordable. Okay, so I just got my soft serve here. I've got an ice cream cup for Matt behind the camera. Let's give this a taste. Mmm! Wow, so creamy. I didn't expect it to be that creamy. Mm, really good. So right now we're gonna get on this ferry and go across to the Hong Kong mainland, I guess. 
This is Hong Kong Island, so let's go. Kowloon, that's what it's called. Kowloon. So the ocean, the bay here in Hong Kong is so clean that people just fish here as well. Really, really lovely. When I was in Shanghai, the river there wasn't really the cleanest, but this water, really lovely. See so yeah, people come down here of an afternoon as the sun's gone down a little bit because it gets really hot. And oh, it looks like someone's got a fish. Oh. Only a little one. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool spot. Nice little ferry here. I think it should only take around five minutes to get across, so lovely chill little ride. It's really cute little ferry. We've set sail. Set sail? No, we're driving, riding, floating, I don't know, but we're going. <laughs> wow, such a cool view. <laughs> So we just got off the ferry there now. What a lovely ride, that was really awesome. Now we're in the main Bay Square. So we might check out what shops are here, see all the different things. So now we're on the main part of Hong Kong. So yeah, let's go have a look, shall we? Okay, so we're now on Nathan Road, one of the main roads here in Hong Kong. So they have a whole heap of high-end shops, they also have electronic shops, clothing shops, food stores, you name it, they've got it on this road. So yeah, let's go and explore here, see what they have, just have a little look. All of these shops here have air conditioning blasting out of them so it's so nice to walk past it's quite hot here in Hong Kong today so here we've just came into this little underground sort of market there's a lot of money exchanges here if you need to exchange your currency for like US dollars to uh, Hong Kong dollars they've also got a uh, little uh, hello <laughs> they've also got iPhones here as well and technology oh gonna get out of the way um, and fruit as well. I saw some fruit back there. So yeah, this is a little underground market. You got your fruit stores there as well. iPhone stores. Also snacks as well. All little types of stores. Really, really busy in here. I think if you need anything, you can get it here. Lots of foreign workers here as well, I've noticed. Oh, you've got your Indian curries and uh, samosas as well and bags too <laughs> this is like a little market tour now isn't it hello how are you guys i'm indian <laughs> look how i eat oh nice with your hands where in india are you from mm. Kolkata. Mm. oh nice nice have you been to india i have you're from india as well i'm from india okay Very from? Nice. australia Okay, yeah. Maybe Aussie, Aussie. Aussie, yeah. Miranam Jack. Jack? Yes. Miranam Jack, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Hindi Tora Tora. Hindi Tora Tora. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. No problem. You Hindi Tora Tora, me Hindi Pura Pura. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Very good. What are you guys having? What's this called? This is called eggplant. Eggplant. And this is like uh, broccoli. Broccoli. And rice. Carrots. And rice, yeah. Okay, nice. Cabbage, Mixed vegetable rice. with rice. Wow, and you have it on this plastic bag. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Easy, easy. <laughs> nice, that's good. Easy awesome. to eat and throw. Yeah, yeah. I love Australia, bro. You do? Yeah, really? because Mike. Ricky Bonding and Michael Clark is oh, my yeah. favorite player. The best players. Yeah. Yeah. My my father went to school with Brett Lee. Wow. Yeah, you know 158 Brett? kilometer per hour. It's crazy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this oh, is this? my shop. Oh, nice. Okay. I'm selling everything. Okay, okay. Bad things, I'm selling everything. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Awesome. Nice. Cool. Well, lovely to meet you. See you, brother. <laughs> See you. Yeah, yeah. You want some water? I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Such lovely people here in that market. Please like. Please subscribe. See you in the next one from here in Hong Kong. And as always, keep it real. Cheers.